What's up, God? I'm gonna do a quick Swim Flame reading. I might do some Zodiac readings as well. I just finished the ebook for the power, I'm sorry, the war on your money and waiting on the cover to be done on the paperback. So I've been away because I've been writing a book. And it's really needed. It's helping people with financial literacy and spell casting. You know, with all these Popeye's chicken sandwich spells and now everybody's on Disney Plus. It's like people have lost control over their vessels. And they've lost control over their money. And the thing about it is they need their money. A lot of people are suffering. And to me included, I have put myself in positions and I'm like, what is going on? Why am I overspending? Why am I going in the store spending more money than I have? Or not going in there, coming... Sorry, my computer is just annoying. But anyway, it's just spells being casted. That's, our money is loose from our hands and causing people to spend when they shouldn't be. And now it's Disney Plus. Everybody is buying Disney Plus now as if we need another subscription. I'm pretty positive we don't. So, yeah, it's just really weird. But anyway, this book really helps with controlling your vessel, controlling your money, and putting yourself in a position to increase in money and power. Every time you give your money away, that's giving your money and power away because money is power. So it's like, you know, Disney Plus... Popeye's Chicken Challenge, giving it away, you know, because it's a trend or a spell or and people are just losing their minds. But anyway, if you want to increase the money and power and if you want to win the war on your money, click on my website and I'll put the left website below so that the ebook is available now. The paperback is pre-order until I can um, get it in my hands. Since it's done, it should be soon. So other than now, yeah. So, interesting, we got action. Twin flame reading. We have action. Um, ooh, this lady. And on the bottom of the deck, we have envy. <laughs> okay, so is somebody getting some action and, and someone is being is jealous because of some action that someone is getting? I don't know. Let's see. It's crazy because when I was moving uh, my everyday tarot deck, this came out. So I'm going to take it. Seven of Wands. It's usually about reaching a level of success in people and, you know, standing your ground because, you know, your hard work pays off, but people don't see it that way and they're jealous. So maybe there is some jealousy that's going to be coming um, into fruition and spirit is warning us warning us about it and i just want to read the action card but I, I really believe this is just saying you're getting some type of action yes okay energizing efforts okay aggressive forward movement interesting this card indicates that you are on the right track efforts must increase the action of spirit and thought so what i believe this is saying is there is a breakthrough coming um, you'll break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create. So it's like you get this much needed breakthrough and I really need a breakthrough. You guys have no idea. Like I could cry right now. I need a breakthrough so bad. But anyway, um, there is a much needed breakthrough that happens. And this breakthrough puts you in a position of envy. Like others are envious of you. And I don't know who's envious, but maybe this reading will reveal that. Out. man guys I have not done my hair in two weeks I have not done M my nails aren't done like for real like I mean I, I have it in a ponytail it's, it's matted up pretty good underneath it but it's like I put my all into the war on your money because one I needed it I need to win the war on my money I want other people to win the war but also we have a lot of people starting businesses and when you start a business and you don't have this information that's in this book, The War on Your Money, you could think you can lose the war on your money because you've tried to start a business without having this information. So really, it's a blessing to people who want to increase in money as an individual and also as a... Um, look on the bottom, guys. Another car for forward movement, the chariot. And um, 
those who want to win themselves as an individual and also as a business. So we have what came out, and I'm make sure nothing else dropped. Let's talk about this. So we have the chariot on the bottom of the deck. So the chariot is for a movement. The chariot is winning the war on your money but this is winning this is things progressing so we have two cards here that's suggesting that aggressive for a movement so this could be already or this could be you putting in that effort aggressively for forward movement but this could be energy being aligned with energy and and being pushed forward and having forward movement on your life because the energy is pushing it So, with that being said, hmm, this aggressive forward movement provides balance in your finances. Listen, we talking about the more on your money, my book that you're going to buy, um, ebook is on my website, but we're talking about that for real. Like, we're finding balance in our finances, and this is what the reading is also attuning to. It's like walking away from lack. Or walking away from something that you lost or from lack. Walking away from a situation that is not increasing you. Because the warrior money is about increasing overflow. But this reading seems to be about increasing overflow as well. Like forward movement and progress and going north. Proceeding and progressing in life. But anyway, we have this forward movement and we're finding balance with the king of cups in between the five of pentacles and the will of fortune. This is like finding balance financially. Like lack. This is under, this is decreasing, this is infinite increase, and this is balance between the two. So it's like finally getting in a position where you're stable financially, where you're stable in life, where you're stable, you're not losing, you're put on a secure, stable foundation. I always think about, but not always, but I think about, if you look at what he's sitting on, it's, a, it's like a rock. I think of the solid on a rock or the sermon on the mount. But it's like being very solid and secure. And I believe his foot looks like it's green. I don't know what color it is. But grounded. Being grounded. Like more secure though. In a more secure place. Because the energy is pushing you forward. And you're moving forward. And your energized effort is not. Like you don't quit. I had a numerology message come up for me today. And it was like um, something about it. Like you're a person that doesn't quit. And I'm like yeah that's true. You're a person that doesn't quit, and Spirit is congratulating you on that. But I'll be this close. I'll be this close. So, yeah, but anyway, so I'm going to put some immunology. So, we can expect for a movement. Energize for a movement in progress. Like, when, I, when it's, like, aggressive, it's, to me, that's, like, you know, being pushed. It's, like, <laughs> this is you. This is Spirit pushing you it's like forward movement being energized like the energy being behind you moving you and your life forward bringing it to a more balanced and secure place and someone is envious about it but you're gonna stand your ground because you deserve it you've worked hard for it it don't matter if you work hard for something people still gonna be jealous listen like when my hard work pays off and I've worked hard, I've sacrificed, I've cried, I've felt like I couldn't get out of this. I've been at the bottom, I've slept on couches, I've sacrificed my job for people who haven't even purchased my book. So it's like, well not, you know, not necessarily I quit for them, but I fought for them while I was there. But anyway, it's like, you deserve what you're getting. But regardless of everything that you've been through, the tears, the hardship, the trials, the tests, the tribulations, the enlightenment, the light, the service, regardless of everything, you, people are still going to be jealous because they're low vibrational. That's why stand your ground. You deserve it. We deserve what we're getting. We deserve to be forwardly pushed and aggressive forward movement. We deserve to have that in our life. What? You see how all these feel? I am not taking all those. Emotions are running high. Super moon. <sighs> New moon of Pisces, but I can't take all of these guys. I, I'm just not. These this this has been happening to me lately. Like a lot of 
cards coming out. I know a new start is coming, but it's like, come on, spirit. I don't want the, all of those. I'm going to shuffle these and get one. So, yeah, but it's like forward movement and progress. I really miss the new videos. I really miss YouTube. I was thinking about you guys while I was writing my book, but I so focused, like when I'm writing or, you know, my son said he came in here while I was writing one day, reached over me, grabbed the tape, and I did not see none of it. That's how focused I'd be. Interesting. Your dreams need a practical plan. Don't let pride get in your way Ooh, see we can just definitely count on moonology to get us backgrounded so full moon in Taurus is like okay it's time for you to move forward but how are you gonna do it or when things start moving forward what are you gonna do when it happens so it's like proactive planning and putting a practical plan in place to for progress and move you know I'm so and sometimes we get to a point where we don't even feel like there is anything we can do. I'm close to that point. But anyway, it says, weave a bit of magic and practicality. Find a combination between the two. Use the law of attraction to draw on what you want. Hope for the best. Then we have full moon and Leo. Two full moons. Interesting. Full moon and Leo says don't let pride get in your way. So maybe we just need to humble ourselves. Maybe I need to humble myself. I have a, I got it. Maybe it's time for me, you know, that's like humble myself. You know, I have a home. Move into my home. Get out of this person's house that I'm in right now. Make a pallet on the floor. I didn't want to move in without a new car and without furniture. And, you know, the physiological needs, like, you know, electricity and gas and internet and stuff like that. But sometimes you just got to take that leap and just do it. Sometimes you have to figure it out when you get there. So it could be saying that. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, it's time to end. It's like a deadlock ends in our dreams or things. We receive some energies and we push forward. But spirit may be calling you to call upon the energetic flow of the universe and energies in the universe to help you. Sometimes you need help. And our spirit guides are there to help us and God is here to help us. And sometimes we just need to call and need the help. Sometimes I don't, I've been asking for help for so much, I don't even know. But anyway, let's clarify Full Moon and Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Ooh. Two of Cups. That could be about connections. And we have nine of cups on the bottom of the deck with the stars aligning. That could be about connections. So when the connections come in, how will you manage it practically? So anyway, I'm going to leave it there because the noise is about to come up. I wish you love, light, and more life. Check out my ebook on ashleygiller.com.